Thanks for tuning in, this is the Life of Miner, and in this video I'm going over the hash rates power draw and overclocks mining green coin on the GTX 1660 Super. So let's check this out. Okay, so I do own the GTX 1660 Super from Gigabyte, and I'm going to share my mining results mining green coin, and I'll also compare these results with other graphics cards as well. Now this is my test bench with the GTX 1660 Super and it idles around 42 watts. Now the miner program I'm using is called Gminer version 1.73 and the overclock program I'm going to be using is MSI Afterburner. So running Gminer on stock settings, I was averaging around 5.33 grass per second. Now my whole test bench was pulling around 160 watts, so the GPU itself was only pulling around 118 watts. So the average hash per watt is about 0.045 grass per watt. Okay, so now overclocking this graphics card the max I could without crashing it and keeping it stable, I put the core at 130, memory at 950, and the power limit at 100. So now I was averaging around 5.77 grass per second, and the GPU itself was now pulling around 120 watts. So the average hash per watt is now about 0.048 grass per watt. Let's go ahead and now drop the power limit. So I kept the core at 130, the memory at 950, and dropped the power limit to 85. Now I was averaging around 5.5 grass per second, and the GPU itself was now pulling around 100 watts. So the average hash per watt is now about 0.055 grass per watt. Let's go ahead and now drop the power limit even further. So I put the core at 130, memory at 950, and the power limit at 75. So now I was averaging around 5.19 graphs per second and the GPU itself was now pulling around 90 watts. So the average hash per watt is now about 0.058 graphs per watt. Now let's finally drop the power limit all the way down to 65 and keep the core at 130 and the memory at 950. So now I was averaging around 4.7 graphs per second and the GPU itself was now pulling around 74 watts. So the average hash per watt is now about 0.064 graphs per watt. Okay, so now let's go ahead and compare the stock settings versus the overclock settings. Now the top part of this table is the different overclock settings I used and the bottom part of this table shows the different hash rates and power draws. So from the stock settings to the overclock settings and keeping the power limit at 100, I gain about 0.044 grafts per second and gain about 2 watts. So I was averaging around 5.77 grafts per second, but I was pulling around 120 watts. So my grass per watt did increase by about 0.003, so now my grass per watt is about 0.048. Now keeping the core at 130 and the memory at 950, but dropping the power limit to 85, I lost about 0.27 grass per second, but also dropped about 20 watts. So now I was averaging around 5.5 grass per second, but was pulling around 100 watts, so my grass per watt did increase by about 0.007, so now the grass per watt is about 0.055. So now decreasing the power limit by another 10, so the power limit at 75, I lost about 0.31 grass per second, but also decreased my power limit by another 10 watts. So I was now averaging around 5.19 grass per second at 90 watts. So my grass per watt did increase by 0.003, so the grass per watt is about 0.058. And now finally setting the power limit all the way down to 65, core at 130, memory at 950, I dropped another 0.49 grass per second, but also dropped my power by about 16 watts. So now I was averaging around 4.7 grass per second, but was pulling around 74 watts. So my grass per watt did increase by 0.006, so the grass per watt is about 0.064. Okay, so now depending on your situation and power costs, it's best to calculate how you want to set up your overclocks and power limits. For example, if I had free or really cheap electricity, I may slightly drop my power limit, but if I pay for a high electricity rate, I'll drop my power limit as much as possible without sacrificing too much hash rates. Okay, so now comparing the GTX 1660 Super with other graphics cards. Now I did grab all these figures from what to mine, so they may not be exactly correct, but please let me know in the comments what hash rate and power draw you're getting and what your overclock settings are as well so we can all help each other out. And the overclock settings used with other graphics card was also pulled from what to mine but depending on your overclocks your results will vary. So to sum it up the GTX 1660 Super averages around 5.19 graphs per second pulling around 90 watts so it averages around 0.058 graphs per watt. 
And for the NVIDIA graphics cards, the GTX 1060 6GB averages around 3.8 graphs per second, pulling around 90 watt, so it averages around 0.042 graphs per watt. The GTX 1070 averages around 5.7 graphs per second, pulling around 130 watts, so it averages around 0.044 graphs per watt. Now the original GTX 1660 averages around 4.4 graphs per second, pulling around 90 watts, so it averages around 0.049 graphs per watt. The GTX 1660 Ti averages around 5.1 graphs per second, pulling around 90 watts, so it averages around 0.057 graphs per watt. And the RTX 2060 averages around 6.7 graphs per second, pulling around 130 watts, so it averages around 0.052 graphs per watt. And now for the AMD graphics cards, the RX 580 averages around 2.2 graphs per second, pulling around 120 watts, so it averages around 0.018 graphs per watt. And the Vega 64 averages around 3.9 graphs per second, pulling around 250 watts, so it averages around 0.016 graphs per watt. And finally, the Radeon 7 averages around 4.7 graphs per second, pulling around 170 watts, so it averages around 0.028 graphs per watt. Okay, so in conclusion, the GTX 1660 Super is one of the best budget graphics cards for mining, but overall, when it comes to mining green coin, the NVIDIA graphics cards are more efficient compared to the AMD graphics cards as of right now. Now, I did want to test out another miner program called B Miner, but unfortunately, with the updated video card driver, B minor stop working, but this should be patched up pretty soon. Alright, so thanks for checking out my mining results mining green coin on the GTX 1660 Super, and definitely head to my channel to see other testings on other algorithms as well. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it, sub if you decide to see what's next. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining. Ready?